Yeah, what's up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 15 online game. Today we have the New England Patriots and San Diego Chargers, a week 13 matchup between two AFC, I don't want to say powerhouses, because I know the Chargers are in that category, but the Chargers are definitely close right now and, you know, they definitely need this win for, you know, staying in the wild card hunt, that big time AFC wild card hunt. They have a little bit of advantage, they have eight wins already coming into this game, but, um, you know, this is a very tough Patriots team, despite the loss to Lambeau last week, even though they're on the road again. It is Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, so it's hard to bet against them. But then again, it's December, so it's hard to bet against Phillip Rivers. Phillip Rivers has some unbelievable record. I think he has three losses in his career in December, so it's going to be a good game, man. It should be a good game. It has the potential to be a good game, but, you know, all these primetime games, they don't seem to live up to the billing these days. As you see my opponent here, third down and five, just going to take a little dump down here to Julian Edelman, and then look at Edelman just do work out here. We had him stopped in the backfield, not once, but twice, but Edelman was able to break the tackles for a first down, so that was frustrating. This is a sub game right now, and we definitely would have liked to have that stop and brought, um, Gotzkowski there for the field goal. Instead, here's Shane Vereen getting a first down and goal. And Vereen once again taking the handoff, but this time getting completely stuffed. Legit the first one to the ball there. And eventually Vereen's wrapped down. Second down, pressure coming. Knocking Tom Brady down. That's his first incompletion of the game. And then third down, he just takes a little dump down here to foul, which I'm okay with, man. You want to throw that little dump down on third down? That's cool. Take your field goal. You're going to take the field goal either way. So that's a good stand for our defense because eventually he ended up taking that field goal that I felt like he should have been taking uh, for um. That dude was breaking all his tackles out there. As first play of the game, I didn't know the ziggurat was going to be that covered. It looked like man to man, but all right, we got this. And Hightower damn near should have picked that one off. So that was a pretty dangerous play. Eventually, third down and 11. I didn't really have a play for third down and 11. We almost got the first down out of it. I thought we did. Fourth down and inches, we do go for it since it's fourth down and inches and we get it. So... That was a pretty interesting sequence. I ran wide receiver screen through the slant. Almost got the first down. Thought I got the first down. Got the first down anyway. So now, Ryan Matthews on the field since we were able to convert. He's getting a nice chunk of yardage there. Now we're going to give him the ball on the ground. He's getting a pretty decent gain. Almost the first down there. Gain of about eight yards there. Second down two coming. The pressure also coming there. We are able to find Eddie Royal. The pressure did not come in time. And Royal is able to get the first down. Phillip Rivers having a decent game so far. You see, we hand the ball off. We're handing the ball off quite a bit to Ryan Matthews and as you see it's already a two minute warning he took off a ton of clock in his drive and we're doing kind of the same right now we're taking quite a bit of clock off in our drive right now I mean this is a two minute warning it might just be one drive per half for us we have the advantage since we get ball coming out of half as Ryan Matthews is getting a big gain here and we also might get the advantage if we can convert for a touchdown he got to the red zone didn't get a touchdown at the goal line instead here we are at the goal line getting to the four yard line next play finding Ryan Matthews out the backfield and Ryan Matthews gets the game's first touchdown down with 54 seconds left in the first half and that was our first drive of the game man we're one for one on our drives it's just damn um what do you call it? his drive took so long our drive took quite a bit of time now with 50 something seconds left we'll see if he could work fast right now second down and four i tried to make him think that route wasn't open which it was open he threw it anyway so you know this time we're gonna cover it and this time it's a pick by williams I mean, I was going to leave it wide open twice. This time, he had to throw it somewhere else, and he didn't figure that out, and he ended up throwing a big-time pick there, giving us the ball in the red zone. And I didn't really fret the fact that we might have scored too early. As here, I meant to throw the screen pass to um, Ryan Matthews. I hit the wrong button. Thankfully, uh, Antonio Gates got a good amount of yardage there. As third down the inches comes up, and we're forced to throw the ball away. But for some reason, Phillip Rivers pump fake, so I ended up getting sacked. Nonetheless, it's a field goal either way. As long as he doesn't fumble, it's good with me, but... um. Yeah, you know, even though there's 54 seconds left, I wasn't really fretting, you know, kicking the ball off to him with too much time because it took him so long to move the ball in that first drive. I didn't really have much faith in him that he would, you know, get a field goal or anything before half. And if he did, kudos to him, man. It ended up working out well for us because he ended up giving us three free points. So, you know, not chewing the clock off some more ended up actually benefiting us. As, like I mentioned before, we get the ball coming out of half here with a full touchdown lead. So, we have a chance to, you know, really put a stamp on this game. We might just have to go on another long drive because he's not really giving us too much deep. And I'm okay with that. But right now, we got, got to convert this third down and eight. And I'm looking at Antonio Gates downfield and Gates. Oh, reliable getting the first down but then fumbling the ball and it's recovered by the Patriots that's that hurts right there can we just convert a nice third down eight? I was actually looking at the check down route to Eddie Royal first and then I look down field and I see Gates I'm like oh that's beautiful Phil Rivers puts it on the money and then it's a fumble while it fell on the other side of the ball but 
that one goes out of bounds for him. So now with all that considered, we had a chance to take control and we lost it due to a fumble. And now he has a chance to tie the game here. So I'm Brady looking and Tom Brady nearly throwing in a pick. I believe that's Donald Butler that had his hands on that one. Instead, second down, 10 coming up. Shane Vereen running the ball. Not enough for the first down. Decent gain of five yards. He needs to get this first down here and he does to the backup tight end Humana Wana 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 Nui. So now once again it's first down and goal at the 10 yard line. Last time he had to sell for a field goal. Our defense made the stand. Here he's running the ball with Jonas Gray coming in. Gray stumbling to the 3 yard line. Third down and 3. He's running the ball again but it's shot down completely. We stopped that one on 4th down. He's going for it and he throws a pick. This time he goes for a late third quarter trying to tie the game up trying to be aggressive instead it backfires badly because we're taking this one all the way. Almost a 100-yard INT return touchdown there. And that absolutely killed him. Let's play out the scenarios. One, he goes for the field goal, makes it a 6-10 to 10 game. Rely on your defense even if... Oh, man. So, we're going to rely on the defense. This game is falling apart for him. Back-to-back -back pick sixes. Not just the interceptions, but taking back for six again. The guy who replaced Williams came in the game and got a pick six of his own right there. But, yeah, you know, you take the field goal, you rely on your defense. You know, two, he might actually get the touchdown. Three... You know, it's picked off, but it's not taken for six. And you, you know, hope your defense gets a stop and you get the ball back with a chance to tie the game up again. Instead, now it's second down and three. And ho, 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 man, I almost came up with that pick. I thought I was perfect in position there. I guess I was just a fraction off. But next play doesn't really matter. It's picked off by Sharice right here. Uh, my batteries are getting low, but it's not too much of a problem because we got the pick anyways. And, you know, I'm stumbling around trying to make sure this dude doesn't fumble the ball right now. And this game, like I said, I mean, right there. Like, the worst case scenario happened for him, and now this game is completely flipped and flipping up. So, going to flip and look at Eddie Royal trying to flip the field position there with that spin move. Almost looked super dangerous instead. Um, not too much. But, yeah. Now, so it's 3-24 after he threw the next pick six and the pick to Sharice Wright. So, um, you know, he was in the game. It was a low-scoring game. Not a lot of possessions. And then that happened. And now, third down at five. We squeezed it through by him. I'm not sure we would be able to get that. I took the chance anyways and we were able to get it there. So now, <clears throat> with like 320 left, we just got to make sure we don't throw any pick sixes of our own. That's basically the game right now. Keep the completions, you know, in the middle of the field. Don't do anything stupid right now. Don't lose the game because that's all. You can't win the game right now, but all you can do is lose the game. So we're going to make sure we don't do that. He calls his timeout. Fourth down and four. We actually go for it here at the 44-yard line. Didn't feel like punting the ball. Instead, we take the shot for Gates again and Philip Rivers delivers it on the money. Rivers, 15 for 17. He's having a spectacular game. Make it 16 for 18. As thankfully, Matt Ryan Matthews doesn't fumble the ball there. So, yeah. And Philip Rivers definitely did his thing out in this game. He outplayed Tom Brady. I don't know that's going to happen in real life. My money's on the Patriots. But, uh, damn, did Philip Rivers come to play today. And that dude just got cracked on the kick return there. So... You know, that's the thing, man. You sometimes you just got to hope your defense comes through for you, and it doesn't happen often. But it was that one play. Again, he tried throwing that out route that he was hitting a few times in the game, and a few times it got picked off like it did on um, that get play at the goal line. So it's a risky play, and ended up binding him the butt there. That dude Williams was able to make two picks off of it that resulted in points. As you see, he's just lobbing it up here over right, trying to get it to one of the short Patriot receivers. I believe Edelman doesn't get it. He's just running plays to run plays right now, trying to get some morale booster. I mean, he's been playing pretty decently. He just hasn't gotten the end zone yet he just has no touchdown to show for he's gone to the goal line first and goal twice but just no touchdown to show for 44 seconds left he's trying to get that touchdown but we're not allowing it we get the pick with flowers and then it's time to make this a return with brandon flowers we're avoiding tom brady right now trying to make this a pick six doing the hesitation again but maybe i should just chill down and send doing that hesitation one more time so I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to run the clock out. I'm trying to get one completion just so I can run the clock out, but I can't really do that right now. Instead, I almost probably should have thrown a pick there. Um, second time, Dante Hightower had a chance to get it. But third down 10, we complete the pass in the middle of the field, and we just put on two clock. We're not going to run up the score. We're going to end this game. So good game to my opponent. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Madden 15 online games. Like I said, that this will happen. We'll see what happens in San Diego Sunday night, and I will catch you guys next time.